patience. Don't do anything stupid. So I'm going through some shit right now, so I might be speaking a little erratically throughout this commentary, but I apologize if I seem a little too passionate about what I'm talking about. Although this is not going to be regarding of, or regarding about what I'm going through, you know, I'm going to be talking with a little bit of a fire under my ass. Um, speaking of which, I've been seeing something, you know, lately that's been getting on my nerves a little bit. And I'm not even talking about what I'm, what I'm going through, but I'm talking about, and you know, I don't mean to kind of drag on with this whole, you know, I'm going through some shit, quote unquote. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, I've been struggling maintaining, I guess, a solid kind of lifestyle. And I'm just kind of having problems with some family members right now. And it's uh, not the best time for me at the moment. So that being said, let's just get that out of the way, which we just did. So to kind of jump into it, uh, just lately what I've been seeing that's been kind of annoying me is that game companies are kind of wondering what the fuck's going on. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's been kind of like a an uproar in like fan base lately. And not only with Infinite Warfare, but I'm not sure who else. It's really hard to make games now. Not only with the economy, you know, raising prices and shit and, you know, game developers having to stick at the, or game publishers as to say having to stick to the uh, sixty dollar price, right? You know they can't really raise the they can't really raise the price, otherwise they don't make sell, sales. You know because no one's really gonna buy anything more than a uh, sixty dollars worth of a game, and that kind of causes a problem for um, a lot of developers. You know because you gotta you gotta pay for a lot of shit, especially with the new tech that's coming out. Uh, you gotta you gotta make some sort of a profit in order for a game to be successful, right? And that's kind of the uh, the issue with uh, game companies right now because they are trying to milk the fan base. And and it's kind of caused a uproar in the fans. Of course, you know, getting milked isn't the greatest experience. Not that I've personally gotten milked, but um, with my money, I have gotten milked, uh, for example, with Destiny. You know, that really pissed me off with Bungie and Activision pulled. But at the same time, I kind of understand it. And, you know, this might be a little kind of surprising to people, uh, maybe to some of you that haven't really delved too deep into the whole, like, business side of gaming. Um, you know, I understand why game developers have to milk the fan base because they need to make some sort of a profit. And, you know, the economy, it's not as bad as it what it was, I think, a couple years back. But it still is, uh, it still is pretty bad, you know, and it's still causing problems for developers due to, oh my god, there's a fucking garbage can! Oh no, it's a jet, never mind. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was on a roll right now and I just lost it because of that fucking jet! God damn it. What I was saying was, is, you know, I'm kind of understanding that why developers, you know, or game publishers are doing this, you know, why Bungie pulled the shit they did, or Bungie slash Activision, you know, maybe it was mostly Activision, but I feel like they're equally at fault there. But, you know, it's kind of come to my, I guess, attention recently with Infinite Warfare. You know, everyone's kind of looking at Infinite Warfare like, what the fuck is gonna happen to the whole Call of Duty series? Because no one knows until, you know, the release date. Three things could happen when Infinite Warfare releases. One, minuscule amount of people caught Infinite Warfare is going to be a failure. Number two, half of what the expected amount of people will show up, buy the game, give it bad reviews, and, you know, the fucking, the COD franchise will be tarnished. Number three, everyone's going to be talking shit before the release date, and then they're just going to all buy it. I mean, that's probably the most likely thing that's going to happen, maybe with a few less than predicted people, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, people are gonna talk shit, but then they're gonna end up buying it. You know, for the sake of buying Call of Duty. Because that's what it comes down to. Like, I'm looking at my game lineup right now, and I see one, two, three, four, five Call of Duties in my little game stack. <laughs> and I, I don't play any of them. I used to play the shit out of Modern Warfare, though. That's And maybe Black Ops 1, but that was about it. I haven't really played any of the other games, you know? And that's where it kind of comes down to. Because, you know, I've been hearing recently, uh, I'm going to be quoting another gamer. Um, not quoting, but kind of tracking my sort, or getting my sources from another YouTuber, which would be Game Ranks. Now, Game Ranks, what, I think the commentator was Falcon. I'm not sure if that's his name or not, whatever. This guy named Falcon, the commentator, or whatever, he was talking about how, um, you know, Call of Duty has become this thing, because people, you know, people of the Call of Duty franchise, there's, there's like a, kind of a split now, because the whole technology advanced bullshit, you know, getting into the whole mech suits and fucking, you know, like, just basically making it more futuristic. 
Right. And then there's the people... Uh, so this is where it kind of creates a problem. It creates a fork, is how Game Ranks Falcon said it. He said that there's going to be people that are going to want boots on the ground, quote-unquote, and apparently that this is a, like a very common phrase for people who like the original Call of Duty and been waiting for another Call of Duty. For example, like uh, Call of Duty 4, right? But it's getting bundled with the futuristic shit. And so the other fork is people that love the futuristic stuff. And if you haven't seen uh, the Call of Duty lineup for the past three years, it's been all futuristic shit, right? It hasn't really been any vanilla sort of uh, gameplay. You know, it's all new shit. And so with this fork, it creates a problem for the people at, you know, Activision or Infinity Ward or whoever's creating the Call of Duty game for the year where they have to make a decision on whether or not they want to move forward or they want to kind of bring it back a little bit and kind of satisfy the older fans and you know three years in a row of technology like the whole futuristic shit it's kind of pissing off a lot of people you know what i mean this is where it brings back into my main point and what this whole video is going to be about or is supposed to be about is that a lot of a lot of game developers or a lot of game companies are starting to not give a fuck you know what i mean like a gamer me being a gamer and i'm sure a lot of you can agree with me on this that we kind of sense the uh, the bullshit right it, it smells a little bit like like shit and a lot of us are not you know that pisses people off basically that that pisses a lot of people off including myself because once you start to realize that you know companies don't give a fuck about you it's that's when it, the game kind of loses its value because you know game companies are kind of seen as like you know understanding or very hipster kind of like very hippie cool you know it's like an outlet um, where people kind of reward the the fans you know what i mean like they reward the gamer instead of you know going all for the money but that's not let's be honest that's not what you know the that's not what the game developers have in mind that's not what it's about it's about the money it's about increasing your product value or increasing sales every single time with new products you know uh, constantly trumping older products or trying to at least and that's where it becomes a problem because us fans, you know, we, we don't like that. We don't like that. It doesn't become about us, but it suddenly becomes about what sells. And a lot, and you know, a lot of people can agree with me on this one is that I'm just kind of sick of everyone's bullshit. You know what I mean? Like we live in a time where a lot of stuff is happening and we're kind of making a transition and I've noticed it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm creating shit and pulling shit out of my ass like Call of Duty, but <laughs> We live in a time where there's a lot of changes going on. A lot of people, you know, we're starting to, we're stuck in this position to where we can either choose to stay conservative and fail as a whole, as a whole, like, species, I guess. And I'm not even talking about, you know, moving, just moving forward um, socially or um, tech-wise or, you know, um, environmental-wise, you know what I mean? I'm not even talking about just that stuff. I'm talking about everything under one umbrella that the humans have made, you know what I mean? We're in this time where we have to start realizing that we need to open up our minds a little bit. We gotta start deciding whether or not we want to be closed-minded or open-minded. And the people that are closed-minded are gonna be the ones that fall back. And they're gonna get, you know, washed away in the wake of new generation, right? And and maybe I'm, I'm kind of thinking ahead of my time a little bit, but I kind of see it now, you know? So I think, guys, with that, we'll just end it off. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my rant. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a favorite down below. That'd be much appreciated. And uh, next time, I'll have a story for you. I, I was trying to make a story this past week, but it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to. And uh, hopefully next week, it will be different for you guys. So with that, see you all next time. Peace. We can sing it faster than you're wrong, but it'll help if you just sing along. Wake me up, wake me up when all is done. I won't rise until this battle's won. My dignity's become.